Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. Today we are talking about core badges and how to complete some of these core badge challenges. I want to make it real easy for you all so you can get through your build and jump online. All right. So in the comments below, let me know what core badge you want me to tackle. And if this video helps you out or if this series is helping you out, be sure to drop a like on the video so I know and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. So let's get it. Today we're talking about Clamp Breaker. You see, I'm almost done, right? Clamp Breaker should be an easy badge to core, mainly because I haven't grinded this badge in my career. This is all online. But what if I wanted to do it in my career? Well, I'm going to test out something really quick. So if you're seeing this video, it was a wild success. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna see what we can do with this Clamp Breaker core challenge. Once again, this is my career. I am playing on 12 minutes. The difficulty for Clamp Breaker doesn't necessarily matter, but I do recommend Pro or All Star just because it'll make it a lot easier. All right. So let's talk about Clamp Breaker really quick. What does it do? It improves the player's ability to fight off contact, protect the ball, and draw by opponents. All right. So a lot of people believe that in order to complete this core challenge, you need to go against people with clamps. That's not true. Once again, we're playing the Heat. I'm going to go down to Tyler Hero right here. And look, no defensive badges. He doesn't have clamps. So your matchup does not have to have clamps in order to get this progress. All right. All you have to do is shed off contact. And I'm going to show you how to do that easy, especially in my career. You can complete this challenge in maybe two hours, maybe. It's real easy. So let's get it. So when you get into the game, just like any other core challenge, you want Clamp Breaker to pop up in the top right. Once you do that, it counts. And in order to get Clamp Breaker to pop up, you literally just run into people. You see, I run into Tyler right here. He doesn't have clamps, but Clamp Breaker still pops up. And if you want to know the best thing about this badge, you can get it two or three times per possession. Kyle Lowry is on me right now. Clamp Breaker popped up once. I said, you know what? Let me put it in reverse then, Terry. Popped up again. Oh, seven more seconds. Let me let me see if I can cook up a little bit more. Get it for that third time. Then I set up Russell Westbrook for the jump shot. I'm surprised he hit it, even if we're playing on pro. I'm sorry, Russell, but you need to figure that shit out. But look, when you're going for Clamp Breaker, just know you probably won't score a lot if you're doing this method. Because to be real with you, I didn't care about scoring. I was just running down the shot clock, trying to get Clamp Breaker to pop up as many times as I could per possession, right? So it's really up to you. If you're mainly an online player and you just want to knock out um, Clamp Breaker, this method is perfect for you. But if you're one of the people that just played my career, you take my career very seriously, and you want to win every game and do the best every game, I would not recommend doing this simply because you might trick off a few games, all right? So let's go. Once again, I'm just running into people, backing up and running into people again. I will say there are two ways to know if Clamp Breaker is working. One, you pay attention to the top right. If it pops up, you're good. Two, if your mob player does the off arm animation when you're driving, um, that's Clamp Breaker. You're good. So we win a whole game with 12 minute quarters on pro. Once again, this is a test. So if you're seeing the video, it's all good, fam. It worked out, but I want to show you the progress of the bar. I showed you what the clamp breaker bar looked like before one game. Now let's go ahead and take a look after one game. So I'm going to go down to clamp breaker right here. Damn. Hey, that's a lot of progress for one, my career game. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. So, Hey, the method, <laughs> the method works. All right. Just keep running into people, back it up, run into people back it up, run into people and either score or pass it off to your teammate. So since it was so close to the end, I fired up a five minute game um, just to knock that out. We did lose. Like I said, it, it might happen, but we do get silver clamps for a core badge. And that's all I really wanted, bro. We got it done. This badge is easy, bro. It, it won't take any time. All right. Whether you have this on gold, hall of fame, clamp breaker is one of the easiest badges to get. So we're gonna go ahead and core that. I'm gonna get six points back. And where are my, oh yeah, I forgot I put all this stuff on. I was like, where are my points at? And I have some options, right? So I could do unpluckable, which I know a lot of people are like, unpluckable doesn't even work. So maybe I won't put unpluckable on. I don't know, fam. I'm going to try unpluckable on gold at least. I'll probably take vice grip off because I thought vice grip was 
kind of like Lou hands for guards also, but I guess that's not true because I'm still bobbling the ball. I still have killer combos. I could do, I could do handles for days or I cannot do any tier three badges and just spread it out over the tier one category. But I don't know about that. I might just go unpluckable in the comment section below. Let me know what you would do in this situation. Let me know how unpluckable gold is and let me know how handles for days is. So anyway, if this video helped you out a little bit, be sure to drop a like, show some love, leave a comment, subscribe if you want more NBA 2K23 videos like this, and I'll definitely drop them. You all be easy. Peace.